Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are mixing it up a little bit because I didn't really know what to do and I thought I would jump on the assumptions bandwagon. So I put a message out on my stories to ask everyone what their assumptions were about me and my life and my beautiful husband who's had a nice party last night so he's really feeling alive and fresh for this video which is great thank you Excited. we will be getting progressively more controversial as we go along we are going to start with the more kind and flattering assumptions and then we're going to get interesting so watch until the end to see the very most controversial assumptions that i'm actually very happy to be addressing in this video because i think it's an assumption that a lot of people hold and that people don't really talk about so i'm very excited to dive into that now maybe you just want to say hi to everyone hello everyone on the internet yes okay first one yes do you prepare well for shoots at home well that wasn't on the list but anyway <laughs> you shouldn't add love you should stick to the list okay, please okay, okay. because i as you can see i printed it all out here for you guys if you can stick to it please down to earth from what i've read from christo would it have raised spoiled rats you need to, sorry, you need to just enunciate. Enunciate. Oh. I do think of myself as very normal. And um, at heart, I think I'm just a plain Jane. What do you think? You're definitely not a plain Jane. You tell me in the mornings I look like a plain Jane. You do look like a plain Jane in the mornings. You see, so. I do want to say thank you for the beautiful and kind comments. A lot of you, a lot of people said that I seem actually very down to earth. I assume you are a normal girl. Okay. I'm busy well, talking. Well, if you're no, but that's the next one you're on. Yes, but I'm saying a lot of people said that. Yeah. You want to do both the questions and answers? Next one. I know you are both hardworking and humble people. Thank, thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. So hardworking. Yeah, Marco, I mean... I think that I am very hard working. Marco. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I am hard working. Wait. I am hard working when I'm involved in a project. But um, I think when it comes to everyday general productivity, maybe you are better there. Maybe. Uh, maybe. So, so I'm just, I'm very bad at productivity guys, but I am working on that. I am working on that. I'm actually thinking of like doing a course or something to become more productive because I really like to make lists. Mm. You make low lists. You don't actually tick the list, but you make them. So yeah. It takes you longer to make the list and actually to do the task. You like, you like making this. Marco's got an amazing work ethic and he is productive. But if you guys want to see a video on Marco's productivity hacks, mm -hmm. Then let me know in the comments down below. Please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do another video. Why? Because oh, you wrote me into one already. Because you hung over now. I'm hung over, but I'm also I'm pulled into one. Don't make you me like do another it. one. You love yeah, it. I love it. Okay, next. You love it. <laughs> next, <laughs> mm -hmm. next question. I imagine you have amazing style and taste, and so does your husband. No, they didn't say that. Yes, you do. On Thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks, Planet. Okay. Appreciate that. On your ranking, where does Azefontein lie as a holiday spot? So this isn't really an assumption, but it's obviously a question. Azefontein used to be very boring for us as children. I mean, I've been going there my whole life since I can remember with my family. And we used to really dread going because there was nothing for us to do. And there was literally two shops. There was the Vescas Café and the One Stop Shop. Literally, where you could get anything that you wanted to. Still the same. No, they don't have a one-stop shop or the Vescas Cafe anymore. Still, it's now still, it's a thriving shops. metropolis mm -hmm. with an amazing bakery. They've got a beautiful interior store, actually. Shout out to Salt, that decor store that I love going to. And now that I'm older, I appreciate Esfontein a lot more for what it is and what it offers. And we've got our own little place there, which is not too far from my parents, but also not too close. So it's the perfect combination and we are very excited to go again at the end of the year. Marco, you never used to like Azer. You were a bit snobby about it. No, snobby. I'm from George. I could be snobby about Azer. You were. No, it's not snobby. People but... should know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Assumption. It's my assumptions or your assumptions. Okay. You are a daddy's girl. 
Are you sure? So that's not really an assumption, that's more like... A fact. I do love him very, very, very dearly, my father, and I'm extremely proud of him. Yeah, I don't have enough good things to say about him, and I actually want to film, or am going to film, a series of interviews with my dad that will be published online on my YouTube channel. He's turning 80 next week. We are incredibly blessed and grateful um, to have him with us after everything that we've been through as a family this year. My dad was very ill with COVID. You're lining up a lot of videos here. Yeah, um, that's part of my failing to plan, planning to fail thing. Okay. I'm obviously okay. planning my content for you guys. I actually think you are lovely and real, but for the longest time, I sense the sadness of you. So I actually really appreciated that assumption because I, I like it when people are real and direct and I think on social media there's so much fakeness out there and that's really kind of why I wanted to also do this video. So there, there are different sides to my personality and I'm definitely not always happy and always upbeat and always bubbly and I do also have things that I struggle with and things that I have to deal with as a human being that are not always easy. So I'm definitely not a sad person. I think of myself as a very happy and upbeat and joyful person who loves life and who loves people. But I have a deeper side and I think that's what allows me to do what I do, especially on my show Moi Mark, where I connect with people from all different walks of life who have been through very hard things in their lives. I think that's what makes me compassionate. I have a lot of empathy for people. So maybe that is what you are picking up, that there's a sensitivity in me. And I think it's it's hard sometimes for Marco and for my family because I I do get extremely sensitive and upset about people getting hurt, people that have problems. I get very involved and invested and I always try to solve everyone's problems for them, which obviously isn't always possible. And when it comes to animals, I am, I really have a problem with my, my sensitivity. I just can't bear to see an animal um, getting hurt or being abandoned. So there's definitely that. I mean, you sometimes think I'm, a, I'm an HSP, which is a highly sensitive person. They've actually written books about it. Well, you are a very, very, very HSP. You are sensitive, it's mm. fine. That's what it is. I'm it's not, it's not, it's what it is. It's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. That's sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly sensitive right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Maybe you can be a little bit less sensitive. Maybe, but maybe you be. maybe you can be a bit more sensitive sometimes. Yeah, sure. So Not we, too can both, we can both get too, you know, into our marriage, but Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next video. Next video, let no, us no, know, no, guys. No. If you want marriage tips please, from us. Please no, don't let us know. I mean we're no. not perfect. No, we're not giving marriage tips. But no. we can. People want to know. We can, but they should ask people that actually know what they're talking about, not us. Well, we're here, aren't we? We're married now for how many years? A lot of people aren't. They don't make it past the three year mark, yeah, four year mark. Okay, but um, that video you can be low on your list of videos. Just to let make. me know, guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I think Even if I have to give all the tips, I will. I'm sure you will. Okay, your husband else? looks quiet and reserved. Yes, he is. <laughs> Shame. That's really not true, guys. I don't know why people would. Why would people think that? I think it's true. You lost, Moira. I lost you. Do you think? Do you think they think that I dominate you? No. With my larger than life personality. Yes. <laughs> then I would like to answer. You. Shame. Clearly not. You're you, not uh, good with live stuff. No. You should think on your feet. It's like if, if you ask me to wash the dishes, I break every glass, so you won't ask me to wash again. So if I'm very bad on this video, maybe you won't ask me to get involved in another one. No, I will, because I need the content and I'm scared of coronavirus. <laughs> no, I'm, free. So. I'm free, that's why. I'm free and I'm right here. That's so Well, I'm... you're not free. I pay in my own way. Oh. You know, nothing is free in life. Yeah, okay. Do you like new challenges? So I love new challenges. That's why I'm always doing new things. I had my blog, I had my jewelry line. I used to be a lawyer. People don't know that about me. But one thing that I am not very good at is actually following through. I mean, that's really something that I'm working on as a, as a human being is to be consistent. And that is why, guys, I'm bringing you this video today. Mm. I could have said, I have an idea, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know if it's gonna work. But here I am. So that right there is personal growth. Why don't I have makeup on? And you have makeup on. What's that got to do with anything? No, I'm just thinking, oh, sorry. Why would it, you want makeup? No, because now I look like 50 years old and you look like 25 and all. Thanks! 
Spooky? Tell it to the show. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm getting these neck wrinkles, which I'm really, really bleak about. Like, it really upsets me. But I'm thinking I should do a video on neck wrinkles and how to avoid them in the first place, obviously, or how to correct them. So if you want a video about that, let me know. I think people really want to know that. Have you seen up and getting these wrinkles here? Yeah. Have you seen it? Mm. You look like someone who keeps your crowd small. Yeah, so that is definitely true. I mean, my best girlfriends are my, like an extension of my family for me and I trust them with my life. They've been around many of them for 30 years. My two of my best friends I've known for over 30 years. And I believe in long-term relationships, but I don't believe in people coming in and out of your life. I like to stick around. Peter man de wet. Hou jy meer van honde as mense? Do you like dogs more than people? Yes and no. No, because obviously not. But I do think that dogs have qualities that, that humans can learn from. First of all, their unconditional loyalty. Do you have a yacht docked in Monaco? So I don't have a yacht, sadly, docked in Monaco or docked anywhere else for that matter. We do have two big inflatable swans. They yeah, like so as to start the in of the party. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, it's the end. You must translate. This person was saying that I look like the wild one at the party. So yeah, I mean, I used to be much wilder than now. I think Marco's really calmed me down. You know, he... <laughs> That's why we have hangover, so I'm a bit more... Toned down. <laughs> and you're also and a bit older. I'm older than I was, yes. That doesn't mean I'm old, but I'm older and wiser. Do you want to have children? Absolutely, we want babies and we want a lot of them. Do you think I've been sitting but too I'm, far ahead and my head's going to look really big? Your head is way bigger than mine, yeah, actually. But, and now if your head's in front of mine, it's going to look even bigger. So you then we're going to have to redo it. You're going to have no chance. And but, a million yard can act it in with But I do think you've got an abnormally small head. I do have a small ish head and you have a big head. So this is not ideal. It's, so, it's a problem. Act man, act, yes. Okay. Life without challenges.